I'm Anil Kumar and now let us do some algebraic operations with permutation and combination. The question here is if NPR equals to 506 and NCR equals to 253 find N and R. NPR equals to 506 it means what? As you know NPR is N factorial divided by n minus r factorial, right? And we are given this NPR as equal to 506. Now as far as NCR is concerned, NCR is equals to n factorial by r factorial times n minus r factorial and that is given to us as 253. Okay? So this is what is given to us. And from here, we need to find what n is and what r is. I hope that is clear. Now you can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into the suggestions. Now, if you analyze equation 1 and 2, what we see is that n factorial by n minus r factorial, this part, is 506. So, I could write the left side NCR as equal to n factorial by n minus r is 506. So I could write this as 506 over r factorial equals to 253. You see that? So I substituted 1 in 2. So what we did here was that we sub 1 in 2, right? So we substituted this value of 506 for this. Correct? And we get 506 divided by r factorial equals to 253. Now we can solve and find the value of r. So if you cross multiply, you get 506 divided by 253 equals to r factorial. And 506 divided by 253 is 2. So 2 is r factorial and if 2 is r factorial this implies that r is equals to 2, correct? So that is the answer for r. Now once you know what r is, you have to find what is n, right? So let's continue. So now we know that r is equal to 2. So we know r equals to 2 and we need to find what n is. So we'll get back to equation 1, which is n factorial divided by n minus 2. So we're replacing r with 2 now, okay? 2 factorial equals to 506. Now n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial could be written as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial and that is equals to 506 correct so n minus 2 factorial n minus 2 factorial cancels so we are left with n times n minus 1 equals to 506 correct so 506 is n times n minus 1 now, that is two consecutive numbers when multiplied gives you 506. So you could find the answer. Here's a very unique method. So 506 will do, uh, I mean, let's do square root of 506. Square root of 506 is equal to, in decimal numbers, 22.49. That means these two numbers are 22 and 23. Let's try. So 23 times 22 is equal to 506. You get an idea, right? So we get the value of n as 23, right? So n is 23. That is one way of solving it. But what we will do here is we'll adopt the quadratic formula method, right? So we can expand this. Say we have n squared minus n bringing 506 to the left side equals to 0 and now you can factor 
We are looking for two numbers whose product is 506 and whose sum is minus 1. And as we found, 23 times 22 is 506, right? So we could write this as n minus 23 times n plus 22 equals to 0. And that gives you the answer as n equals to 23. Well, n equals to minus 22 is not valid, right? So that is not valid since n cannot be negative number, correct? And so we get our answer as n equals to 23. So now we can write down our solution. That is the value of n is 23 and that of r is 2. I like you to go through these steps, understand the method of solving such questions. That should help you in your test. I'm Anil Kumar. Subscribe to my videos and share them with your friends. Thank you and all the best.